We're Will. And James. Fiancés, world travelers. And your out traveler tour guide. Last year was tough. Vacations were canceled, being replaced with extreme wanderlust and severe cabin fever. Now the world is finally reopening and we are ready to pack our bags, travel across the country, and see how local businesses and communities are ready to welcome back travelers. Join us as we hit the road to visit our favorite LGBTQ destinations because it's time to get back out there. Houston is a bustling city full of art, science, food, and culture, all with a unique Texas flair. From the NASA Space Center to the rainbow streets of the Montrose District, there is a little bit of something for every traveler. We are beginning our day at the Royal Sinesta near the Houston Galleria, and I don't know much about the city of Houston or all that it has to offer, so I'm ready to get going. I, on the other hand, am from a really small town two hours outside of Houston and grew up coming to the city for art, theater, concerts, and tons of food. Having been gone for many years, I'm excited to be back close to home and show James some Texan hospitality as we get back out there. The Royal Sinesta at the Houston Galleria is in a perfect location for all the major activities you can do while visiting the city. The rooms are comfortable and provide everything you could need during your stay. If you're looking to go shopping, walk on over to the Galleria and explore the hundreds of shops. If you're looking for good food or the LGBTQ plus area of the city, the Montrose District is located just four miles from the hotel. We had such a great time staying at this hotel and it was a perfect way to get our trip started this morning as we head to Cafe Teria and East Downtown. owner at Cafeteria, and this is my husband, Andreas. Hi. I'm the uh, front of house manager here at Cafeteria. Yeah, we're a bakery. <laughs> we do a lot of really fun, sweet things, a lot of seasonal things, a lot of crazy creative things. Um, our menu changes all the time, which he absolutely loves um, keeping up with that. <laughs> Last night I was like, oh, hey babe, you got a new item tomorrow, sorry. <laughs> what inspired me to open up this bakery? Uh, I always knew that if I was gonna come back, I had been gone from Houston for about 10 years, so I always knew if I were gonna come back to Houston, it's gonna be something big, it's gonna be something on my own. I think what really saved us during the pandemic is that we had just enough time to become part of this neighborhood because they didn't want to, they wanted a coffee shop in their neighborhood. They wanted some place where they could get pastries. Just coming from a Cambodian heritage, I just find that like food was a direct connection towards that culture. I'm a first generation American, like Cambodian American, and it's my journey and my perspective on food and how I was brought up. Besides it being an LGBTQ um, just owned cafe, it's actually a family run as well. Like my dad does all of our accounting, all the business um, side. My mom does a lot of the marketing for us as well. She does a lot of, she cooks literally every single week has brought food for us. Uh, for the last almost three years now. I think it's also, it seems to be an important thing for the community as well. Um, they've really come out for us. It's that like symbiotic relationship between us and the community and that's how you know you got something kind of like a good secret on your hands. But I think, yeah, the food definitely plays a huge role in tolerance in general. And I think it helps people understand the differences that can make Houston a better place. Houston is probably one of the most diverse food cities in the U.S. Um, and I think it's very welcoming and friendly, no matter who you are. I'm really glad that we were able to meet with Van, as well as his husband, Andreas, to learn more about Cafeteria, and to experience a lot of the pastry items on the menu was the best part. We had a little bit of everything, and everything on the menu was delicious. And I know Andreas, in particular, said that the pistachio baklava was like a popular hit here and I'm so glad that we were able to experience it because the flavor was out of this world and the, like, the moment you cut into it, it like oozed with this lemon, what, what was it? Like a lemon Almost sauce. like liquid lemon it sugar. Was so, it was so good. I think this space is fantastic for people to gather in the morning, have a great pastry, a nice coffee, and get to see their relatives, their friends, and a really cute space. Now that we've experienced some of the food here in Houston, we are going to the Museum District to meet with some of the team members of QFest to learn more about the Gay and Lesbian Film Festival that takes place here. Hi, my name is Stephanie St. Sanchez and I'm the Shorts Curator and the Special Events Coordinator for QFest 
and I'm Christian Salinas. I am the Executive and Artistic Director. Hughfest is the premier LGBTQ film festival in Houston and is celebrating its 25th anniversary this year. And we're excited to be returning to in-person screenings. Last year we kind of hosted online screenings. It had its pros and cons. Um, one good thing I think it had was that we really reached an international audience. Because we were online, we got viewership from all of strange places we would have never heard of or, or gotten before. It was originally the Houston Gay and Lesbian Film Festival, but it came about because uh, a pack of straight women and one lesbian decided that Houston could not go on without having its own Gay and Lesbian Film Festival, considering how large and, and politically active the community uh, was and still is. It's so cool to think that you had allies who envision that, like, they took it upon themselves to do it, like, this is something that we want to do, it's important, and we want to show support for the community. That is the kind of place Houston is. We have such a, an amazing arts community, and traditionally, I'm not going to say the best artists have been queer, but there's just a lot of really wonderful art and uh, a lot of art life here, a lot of wonderful places to visit. What I love about Houston over every other city I've been to is that the arts community here is involved with each other. We're very supportive of each other's endeavors, goals. We work together, we collaborate, we write grants together. Uh, we support each other in ways that you just don't find in other communities. I love seeing the um, you know younger people coming to the screenings and really getting engaged and asking um, thought-provoking questions. Like sometimes you just forget like, wow, there's a whole new generation and they have uh, an entirely different perspective on, um, on the struggles that they're going through now and, and how they reflect on the struggles we went through coming of age. Um, I love seeing that. We have some things that are in the works, so we would encourage people to visit our website at q-fest.com. We're visiting Houston at the perfect time because it is Pride Weekend here, so I wanted to bring James to the Montrose District to explore all the festivities going on. There are gay bars lining the entire streets of the Montrose District, all displaying their beautiful Pride flags to celebrate. Leave your shirt on the floor There's no reason to get up There's a print on your cheek from my wrinkly pillow There's a smile from the One thing I loved learning while walking around the Montrose area is that it was home to the oldest gay bar in Houston. It was known as the Montrose Mining Company and operated from 1978 to 2016. It is now a restaurant called Pastino's Wine Bar and it pays special tribute to all of the previous gay bars. And I loved walking around and seeing all the posters and pictures from those previous gay bars because it was interesting to see what they did for advertisement at a time when it was less accepted. Anything you should know about us is that we love good food. And I'm not just saying this, but the menu was so delicious. My favorite thing we got to try was the grilled cheese. And we definitely had our fair share of wine. The Montrose District is the LGBTQ plus hotspot for the city of Houston. And this weekend, the energy was amazing, especially because of Pride. And the community is more than ready to welcome you on your next trip. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that we were able to inspire you to get back out there when you're ready. I always love visiting the city of Houston, and if you have any exciting travel plans, let us know in the comments below. And for more information on LGBTQ travel destinations, visit outtraveler.com.